It was midday, but somehow it didn't matter, for there was that the sky had darkened. Screams erupted in terror, flooded the people. How could this be happening? What was going on? The spectators could not understand how the darkness was related to crucified man on the hill, but nature did. This part of creation understood that their creator had passed on. The sky bowed its head in reverence, darkening as his soul had darkened to gather our pain and sin unto himself. Life had died, and it was reflected in a momentary stillness before the clouds released the tears they held. Mourning for the king of heaven. In that moment, the earth roared in anger, reflecting the voice of God. The temple veil was torn in two, and the light of the Son of God shone through. A sword of light had sliced through all the barriers that had ever separated God from man. God's voice was anger and vengeance against the enemy, and joy all at the same time. Life burst forth once again. The Creator could now be one with His creation. He danced and shouted, willing them all to run into His arms again. It is always darkest before the dawn, and in that darkest moment, Christ glimpsed His dawn. He saw the work he had come to do completed. One final cry from the Savior before his death, anguish mixed in jubilation. It is finished. Oh, that we could only truly understand.